Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be unboxing a advent calendar to see how it is this year. This is a makeup, bath, skincare, and accessory advent calendar by Sephora. So it's put out by Sephora, has Sephora brand products in it, and it's this cute little box. You open it up and there are all your days. So last year Sephora got a ton of crap about their calendar because there was like hardly any makeup in there and there was like no value to it. I think you got like reusable mascara wands and hair ties. Like it was a mess. So I'm going to be opening this up with you guys and we'll see if it's any better this year. This retails for 60 Canadian dollars and they say it has an $86 retail value. So let's go ahead and start opening it up. Day number one. Ooh, and we're off to, oh, I think, a good start. So this is one of Sephora's lip sticks their lip stories lipsticks this is number three it's a satin cream in the color we and it looks like it's a full size hmm it's a beautiful color it kind of reminds me of charlotte tilbury's pillow talk oh oh yeah very very close uh there's pillow talk and there is we so very interesting. I did find the formula when I wear tested it once before to be a little bit like slippery and like didn't stay on super long. Oh, and it's also got a slight scent, like a slight perfumey scent, which I'm not super crazy about. But overall, I'm really happy with the color. I think that is pretty good value. I think they retail for about 10 Canadian dollars on their own. And yeah, I'm really happy with the color that they decided to throw in there. All right, so let's move on to day two. What do we have here? So this is a very tiny bath bomb. It says it is a pillow battle freeze fizzing star. And yeah, I guess you just drop it into your bath and enjoy a little bath bomb. It's kind of tiny, but also kind of cute. I personally don't take baths, so not the best value for me. But Douglas will definitely be able to use it. He takes a ton of baths. So let's move on to day three, which is this big pocket up here. A couple of Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes with cornflower extract and yeah you get two wipes kind of cute maybe a little sample bottle would have been a little bit nicer but beggars can't be choosers here's number four. Oh. fold it up a little mask in here it says it's a pore mask pore perfecting and smoothing in pineapple it's a biocellulose mask and you just throw it on for 15 minutes and sit back and enjoy. So I really love the idea of getting face masks in your advent calendar, especially like if you plan to use them the same day, same day that you open them up. I think that'd be really cute. In fact, maybe next time I do an advent calendar, I will just do a straight face mask calendar. So that was day four. Where is day five? Way over here. Let's see what we get. This is Let's Have Fun. So that's a little bit weird. This is a melting shower jelly. I guess it's a one time or a couple time use. Um, interesting packaging, I guess. I've never tried any of Sephora's melting shower jellies didn't know that that was a thing that they made so we'll have to I'll have to try that out and report back what I thought about it again it would kind of be nice if it came in a bottle so that you could like use it for multiple showers anyway moving on to day six right up here Ooh. Day six is a little lip liner to go in this very bright red. This is in the color 03 Classic Red. 
And yeah, just a tiny little pencil lip liner. I think that's pretty cute. Definitely something that I can see myself using. All right, so moving on to day seven. Back onto this side here. Oh, here is one of the little hair. So they give you a little hair tie. Um, these are like the other fancy ones um, where they're not supposed to like crimp your hair in a, any type of way. So there you go, a little hair tie. This is a little bit smaller than like the regular size ones that I'm used to. Day eight is just over here. Oh. Another set of the eye remover wipes. Interesting. I kind of wish, kind of surprised they didn't uh, have a different either color or formula or type of wipe, maybe a face wipe to put in there, but that's still cool. I can definitely still use those. Day nine is an eyeshadow. So this is a shimmer shade in the color under the cover. Oh, feels nice. And yeah, it's just a nice frosty white. Almost make a nice highlighter as well. Um, very pretty. It feels nice and soft and kind of has that buttery uh, texture to it. It's not chalky at all. So that's pretty cool. I also like the packaging that the eyeshadow comes in. And honestly, I haven't tried a lot of Sephora eyeshadows, so I'm interested to see how it performs throughout the day. Here is day 10, and it is another Fizzing Bastard. This is Beach Vibes. I don't know what they smell like. I guess this one kind of smells like Brazilian bum bum cream or sunscreen or something. Day 11, which is right here. These little doors just take a beating. And what do we have? We have a black eye pencil. So pretty standard eye pencil to go. This is in the color Intense Black. Here is day 12. Oh, what is it? Oh no! Day 12 is actually a little penguin pin, but I broke it. Me being me, I kind of just like ripped it out of its package, but it is this cute little penguin pin. I can't really see myself using it, using it, but there you go. If you're into pins, um, I think I could repair it just by like gluing it back together somehow. And just a little hot glue. Um, but yeah, be careful when you take it out because otherwise that's going to happen. That one's like a little wah wah, I don't know. Day 13 is right next to it, so here's 13, and this is nail polish remover. White peach, again, you get two little packages, and again, instant nail polish remover wipe. Very practical, definitely something that we can use. That's kind of cool, I've never tried wipes before. Day 14 is just right here. Oh, and we got another melting shower jelly. This one is Pillow Battle. And again, same sort of package, same sort of deal. I wonder if these are an exclusive for this calendar or if this is something that Sephora normally, normally carries. Anyway, these are made in France, which is kind of cool. Going along to day 15. Oh. This Shea Lip Mask. Again, it's a biocellulose mask. Uh, moisturizing and smoothing. You just stick it on your lips and wait 15 minutes, much like the previous mask that we saw. Again, I do like the way they kind of fold them up and stick them in the uh, mask. It's kind of cute. I'm gonna put it. I'm trying to put it back together so that as Christmas happens, I can actually enjoy the advent calendar. Um, so that was day 15. Here is day 16 over here. Oh, and it is a little penguin nail file. Kind of cute. Definitely more practical than a pin or something. A 17 is way over here. 
And what the heck are these? These must be nail stickers. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stickers. I don't know, I've never tried any of these before, so I'll have to give those a go. I like that it's something brand new I've never tried. That was day 17. 18's way over here again. And oh wow. This is actually a full little nail polish. This is the Color Hit Sephora Color Hit in the color Rose Bouquet L178. Very cute. Of course, goes with the lipstick. That's super, super cute. I like that a lot. Day 19. Oh, another mask. This time it's actually a charcoal nose strip. So maybe you can use it in conjunction with the other one. Um, but this is more of a traditional nose strip where you stick it on and then peel it off. Okay, number 20 for some reason says the giant gift. What is this? Oh, it's actually just a cute little mirror. Uh, it's just got this plastic wrapper on it. Um, which is why it looks kind of scratched, but you take off that little plastic protector and your little mirrors underneath there. Seems like a good quality mirror. A little strange that it's like a button. I don't know, maybe you can stick it on the fridge or something. I don't know, but uh, just a cute little mirror. I don't, I don't know if that's my favorite style of mirror. Like if you threw it in your purse, it would just get scratched, but we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Day 21, it's right up here. And 21 is a eye mask. So this is, again, a biocellulose patch in the flavor grape. And it's supposed to be smoothing and toning. So again, you stick it on, away 15 minutes, and you are good to go. It says no need to rinse. Moving on to day 22. Where's 22? 22. Oh, 22's way up here. Oh, we got another little hair tie. Honestly, I can't complain too much because I lose a lot of hair ties. So I would rather have hair ties than like a little compact mirror or bath fizzies. Uh, so there's 22. 23. Oh, another lipstick. See, that's that's exciting and fun to me when we get lipsticks. Oh, this is actually a lip balm in watermelon. Packaging as the lip stories. As you can see, it says watermelon lip balm. I kind of love the packaging. And does it have color? Just a tiny hint of color. I bet you can't even see it. It's kind of like a warm orange color. There you go. And yeah, watermelon flavor. Cool. Again, I don't think I've ever tried a Sephora lip balm either, so that's kind of exciting. I feel like they should have opened with a lip balm and left the lipstick a little closer to Christmas. But maybe that's just me. And finally, very last item, 24. The night before Christmas. Oh, it's not what I expected at all. This is Sephora Cream Lip Stain. I'm not sure if I love this color or if I'm afraid of this color. Um, but it is the color 40 Pink Tea. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh, that is brown. It's like hot chocolate or something. Very cool. And honestly, I'm surprised to see it. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like a liquid liner or something, so kind of excited to see another lip product. I love lip products. Let's see what it looks like over top of that lipstick. Uh-oh. Kind of cute. Let's try layering a lipstick over top of it to bring back a hint of color. Not too sure about this color, honestly. Not too sure why, again, they didn't go with like a classic red or something. I like that they went for something unusual, something a little bit different. That was the very last night before Christmas. Ta-da! So in summary, we got four masks, 
two nose masks, a eye mask, and a lip mask. Kind of surprised we didn't see in a full face sheet mask. We got two body gels, not the hottest items in my opinion. Haven't tried them out though, to be fair. We got two bath fizzing stars. Again, not my favorite. Probably could have used like a little eyeshadow. I don't know, just something a little bit more fun. We got a nail polish, which I thought was super cool. We got four eye makeup remover wipes, which again, I thought was nice. We got an eye and a lip crayon, black and bright red. And we got that white eyeshadow, which I thought was pretty cool. And then for lip products, we got a lip balm, watermelon lip balm, that rouge cream stain in this color, as well as the lipstick that is pretty much a dupe for Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, which again, I really liked. And then of course we got a pocket mirror nail, oh, they're called nail stencils. Oh, that makes sense. I thought you would put the sticker on your nails and just like leave it, which I might still try and like seal it in with gel. We'll see, but nail stencils, um, two elastic hair band thingies, <laughs> a nail file, and of course that broken pin because I savagely took it out from the box. Um, I think the packaging looks really nice, very fun, a huge display, which is kind of cool. Um, but overall, do I feel like I got $60 worth of product? Honestly, I do not. Like, if I was going to quickly add up what I thought everything was worth, Let's say 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. You know what, actually, now that I think about it and kind of add everything up, maybe we are close to 60 based just on the masks. Although, okay, we got 24 items. It was $60. So that means everything was like $2.50 in value. Does it bounce out over the calendar? Mmm. You know, maybe it does. I feel kind of, I still kind of feel like it was uh, cheap overall, especially when you compare it to other beauty advent calendars I've opened. And I feel like they could just like, th like get rid of some of the like cheap, like the bath jellies. Give you something that feels just a little bit more luxe. But overall, I was pretty happy with it. Really excited that I actually managed to get a hold of one this year. Usually I feel like they're either not available in Canada where I wait too long to order one. And by the time I get around to ordering one, it's all sold out. And again, I might have got one this year because they had a hard time selling them based on how crappy the calendar was from last year. But anyway, let me know what you're doing for your Christmas advent calendar. Are you sticking to chocolate? Are you trying some beauty products? I was kind of tempted by the Charlotte Tilbury uh, advent calendar. But then I read some comments and it was so expensive and I was looking at all the skincare and I was just like, man, I'd rather have makeup. Makeup, makeup, makeup. Don't care too much about skincare. I can get skincare anytime or buy a dedicated skincare advent calendar, which I just wouldn't be interested in. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below for more beauty content from me. I put out two beauty videos every week, or at least I try to. Huge shout out to my patrons who help make these videos possible. Huge shout out to you for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Doing any of those things it really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye for now.